I hadn't been back to the Philippines in 16 years. So when my cousin asked me to come to her wedding, I booked a ticket. My grandmother suffers from dementia and my grandfather isn't doing great either. So me and my brothers decided that it added to the importance of us being there because realistically speaking, it might be the last time we get to see them. You drink the water. Really? Yeah. And it's good. What does that taste like? They do you. Like chicken soup. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes like um, ramen. <laughs> you put a little bit of right, salt, but I don't right. like salt, so. Still good. <laughs> and that's the chicken, yeah, and it's the it's duck. A, it's a duck. Yan. No, there's no more duck. Yan. Oh, really? Yeah, this is just regular right, egg and now. That, that's just like the. It tastes um, like yeah, regular yeah, yeah. egg. Okay. And that. Discretion. Oh, yeah. Shall I learn? Will you tell me? Sure. Okay, hold on. That's it. I, I, it there, there, there's this part. I like it. Don't put salt. Uh, Just try it without salt. Uh, try it without salt. It, it and with salt. Bad. No, it does. It does literally taste like okay. tastes like raw. Does try it again. So I, I feel like I should just eat the whole thing, right? Is that your first bottle? It's my first bottle. I don't want to be. <laughs> try the soup again. It's good. Might be really good. <laughs> Sometimes you get a bad one. That's why people are food complaining. <laughs> How is it for your mm, first balloon? Mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, it's all bad. Uh, you, have, uh, you have a picture of your girlfriend? There's so many. Yeah. So many of them. So many. I can't keep track. Being back here at the house that my mother built for my for our family when she came to America she sent like all the money she made initially back to her parents and her brothers and sisters and built this house it's uh, it's really humbling I remember when we were little and I came here for the first time as a child. <laughs> My dad was like, you see, you see how spoiled you guys are? And it's true, but not spoiled in the sense that, you know, we had a silver spoon in our mouth by any means, but spoiled in the sense of that, like there, I mean, there is now, but like running water and electricity, like, wasn't always a thing. Very humbling.
cousin just made some Philippine. It is sweet rice and what? Yeah. What's the brown? Just sugar. Sugar like uh, like caramelized sugar. Yeah, caramelized sugar. I haven't had this since I was a kid. Yeah, it used to be all sugar and yeah, all yeah. over. It just happened to melt. It's good when it's fresh. Right, right, right. right. But it's melted. That's mm, why it's come out. Mm, mm. It's like a Filipino donut. Not bad. Mama, what do you do? Do you just you just grab it, right? Yeah, grab it. Here, can you hold like this? Just like that. It's already recorded. Okay, you you pick up. My grandfather or Mama in Tagalog, Jose, the patriarch of our family. He is an OG. He has been farming forever. And they own all this land in Batangas and live off of it. It's really incredible because I don't know what about what. But he was so excited to walk around and show me the fruits of his labor. And it's not like farms like I know here in the States, like where everything just looked like jungle to me, but he would just like point at something and pull a fruit off of it or pull a vegetable out of the ground or something that I did not know was edible. But that's the, the I'm sure there's a method to his madness to me. I was just like, oh. but it's, it's beautiful and he's just so proud. And I'm so proud of him. He raised 10 kids with my grandmother. Um, and he's got some heart problems and should not be running around the farm. But you can't tell this man nothing. And I love him so much for it. Hopefully will something like that grow? One year. No. Yeah. Really? So you can have a lot of fruit. Oh, yeah. You okay, Mama? You all right? Okay. Plank is not... By the way, that is papaya that we're picking from that tree, and it was the sweetest damn papaya I'd ever had. From the highway. Look at my little cousin, my little from baby cousin. The, uh, He's so bad, he just turned 13 that week. He was trying to get me to uh, give him some of my rum that I had bought that day. Little badass. I was just That's like, yeah. Wait, Tito Nelson and my by both the other side. Uh, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the bamboo. Right. Tata, I like it. Yeah. We're going to build a house. We're going to buy a house. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. So we have oh calamansi, mm -hmm. garlic, and onion for our lomi. For our sauce. Yes, they don't put a lot of salt in it, so you right. can just control the, right, right, right. the spiciness you, and the you, saltiness. Do you like spice? Well, I like spice. Sugar but, spice. But that's um, that's really hot though, right? That's like really spicy. Yeah, it's really spicy, it's really spicy now. This is this is really spicy now. Yum. How do you say it? Lomi. 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 L O M I. Lomi. Local noodle dish that we will put our sauce that we need. Yeah, yum 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 yum. What is it? Is it, is it pork? Thank you. It's pork. Yeah, I think.
Hello. Hello. What's in it? A lot of tapioca pearls. Uh huh. Ta tapioca pearls. Is it like condensed milk or like what is that? Condensed milk. Yeah, yeah. What is this at the bottom, like syrup? It's a beans. Uh, jelly. Mm. Jelly. Jello. Jackfruit. Right, right, right. And then this is like this is beans at the top. This paste. Like no, beans. that's uh, purple yam. Purple, purple yam. yam. And and with, with the scoop of ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream. All right. My grandmother, Pasita, she had 10 kids. My mother was the oldest and I am her oldest grandchild. Her memory is not what it used to be and she doesn't recognize me much anymore, but that could be because she has like 50 grandkids. She took care of me and my brothers a lot while my parents were at work while we were growing up and she's the matriarch of our family. I was so happy I got to spend some time with her and I'm happy that she gets to spend time in her home country. Mahal kita Lola. Hello, good morning guys. Breakfast is ready. My cousin Sheila, she's the best. Shout out to Ate Sheila. She has this uh, little motorcycle and I kept bugging her to let me take it out. She was like, you know how to ride a motorcycle, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plot twist, I did not, but I can drive standard. And I was like, what's the difference? Clutch, gas, go, right? I taught myself how to ride a motorcycle in a day. I was very pleased with myself. Um, had no cell service though, so couldn't go very far without getting completely fucking lost. But uh, it was a good day. <laughs> So we're going down the road uh, back to my grandparents' house and I noticed this really agitated cloud formation and I thought it was a storm rolling in, but we realized it wasn't a storm but a volcanic eruption. The Gaitai, a volcano located in Ta'al, which is two hours north of Batangas, had just erupted and we could not believe what we were seeing. Um, the last eruption was in 1977, if I'm not mistaken. And we didn't know what this meant for us, but I was very excited, as you'll hear in this next clip. And I apologize for the foul language. <laughs> I can't get over this thing, man. I mean, look at that. How often do you get to see that? We are... We are about two hours. My cousin tells me we're about an hour and a half, two hours away from this volcano. And look at how, look at what we can see. You can see the fucking plumes. Oh my God, it is insane. I'm sorry, I'm losing my fucking mind. Hold on, does that not look like a face over there? Doesn't it kind of look like a face? Not really. Come on. That looks like a face. Which one? The middle part. Yeah. 
Oh well, yeah, no, I no, see a face, it. dude. Yeah. It's the devil. Yes. So, so, so crazy. What do you do when you're potentially about to be washed away by a sea of lava? Make cocktails, ew. Oh, it's sat in the water. What? What? Okay. So, my, my dear sweet uncle was nice enough to cut up... Hold it straight, right okay. there. To cut up the coconut for me. There's grow in the backyard. Every day we could harvest a coconut if we want. And the limes, also growing right over there, five feet away, just plucked from the tree. They smell so good. Sour. I've been looking forward to this all day at my dessert, right? So I have a nice local Filipino rum. Tanduay. No. Right? Is that how you say that? Yeah, tanduay. Tanduay. So we got the lime and the coconut, and you mix it all up. Oh. Yan. Set up. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Thank you. All right, look at that. It's about two and a half days later since the initial eruption. Um, this is where my cousin was supposed to get <laughs> married, and the poor thing, she has to change locations because, one, it's not advisable to have an outdoor ceremony next to the volcano while it could erupt again, and two, everything is covered in ash. It just like, it looks super dusty, that's all volcanic ash, and it's all been blowing around the past few days. That's why we have these masks. Did you know, in volcanic ash, there are micro, micro shards of glass from the blast. And you just, you don't want to breathe that. I can feel it in my eyes right now, and that doesn't feel great. We are at Ta'a Lake. You can't see the volcano from right here, but it is, uh, it's over on the other side of the lake. And I'm not... I'm not crazy about being here right now, to be honest, but we had to see the venue for ourselves. This is literally right where the ceremony was supposed to take place. And the poor thing has to uh, change venues less than a week before the wedding, but we will find something good. Is this a video? Gang, 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 Yo, gang. Yo, let me tell you something about this shirt. It's made out of pineapple, straight dripping in the Philippines. That's just the bong Leap in my city. barong. Bang, what's bang, up, bong in a barong. The barong is a traditional, long-sleeved, formal shirt worn by men. Uh, it's made of pineapple husk. I believe it's made of the husk. And despite the sheer appearance, it does not breathe. Let me tell you, that thing was hot. The day of the wedding finally arrives. We're sitting in the pews. The procession's begun. The ceremony's going. And the pastor calls my name to read a passage from the Bible. And I'm thinking, I can't read Tagalog. Thankfully, it was in English, and I only cried a little bit. Despite the ceremony having to be moved a week before, it ended up being a really beautiful day. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not easily angered, and keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres.
to reunite our family, to unite two families. My heart is filled with joy to share the day with you guys. It's been 16 years since I've seen you, but it feels just like yesterday. I don't know. I'm honored to gain a brother. I know you guys will take very good care of each other. I look forward to when we can spend some more time together. Thank you. Thank you. No. You remember my cool cousin with the motorcycle? Well, she and I and my baby brother. It's our last night in the Philippines and we want to go out and celebrate being with each other because it'll probably be a long time since we all see each other again. We go to the bar and uh, the there's a band playing. The lead singer, I pass him on the way out of the bathroom and he's like, oh, you're not from around here, are you? I was like, no, I'm visiting for my cousin's wedding. And he was like, oh, you're really good looking. I sit down, take my seat. A few minutes later, he points to me and goes, we have a visitor. This guy's from out of town, and uh, now he's going to sing for us. sufficiently enough of that because it does not get any better. I wish I remembered the name of this bar so I could shout them out. I had so much fun. I hadn't been back to the Philippines in 16 years. I think I would mentioned that three times already, but I pray that so much time doesn't pass that I go there again. But it is expensive to fly to the other side of the world. Damn, it's expensive. It was actually this day on my last day there, that news of a virus in China was starting to spread. And shortly after that, the world stopped. For this to be the last thing I did abroad fills my heart because I got to be with family and that's just such a blessing.